Hey travel friends, it's Stoof here. Welcome back to our channel. We recently visited Corova, North Carolina. This is the northernmost section of the Outer Banks in North Carolina. We stayed at a beach house with our family for the week. It was our family vacation for the year and you have to get to your beach house by driving up the sandy beach in your vehicle. So we are here to share that experience with you. It's been many years since we visited the Outer Banks, so we wanted to share our experience and our thoughts with you guys. And while you're here, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any more of our fun travel adventures like this one. You have to drive on the beach to access your house, which is something Nate has never experienced before. Yeah. I've done Pretty it a couple times. About it. Yeah. <laughs> I've done it a couple times with my family before, so it's not as big of a deal for me, but Nate's really nervous. About a mile and a half before the drive along the beach, when you still have paved road, there's a pull-off area where you can air down your tires. They recommend airing your tires down to about half of what they are when you drive on pavement. That helps you to not get stuck in the sand when you're driving to your beach house. Brought our tire pressure down to about half of what it was at. The gauge was reading a little higher, it looks like, than what the car is reporting. So we'll see how it goes. Should be we'll fun. just go with it and yeah, and see how it goes. We safely made it to our beach house without getting stuck at all. The scariest part of the drive was the hill coming up to the beach house area. The sand was soft and there was kind of a blind turn there. So it was a little scary coming up. Nate actually saw a group of people got stuck there a couple hours after we arrived. So he went to go help dig them out. <laughs> but luckily we were okay getting up there. Made it there in one piece. The rest of the family arrived and the doggies were all there and they were happy and playing together. We had a cookout, we did some grilling. We had a pool at the house so we could go relax by the pool, walk down to the beach and start the week of relaxation. As many of you know from watching our YouTube channel, Nate and I do a lot of driving and traveling. This week we wanted to do the opposite. We wanted to just be there. So we left the truck there and did not leave that area once other than to go for walks on the beach. Walks around the neighborhood to look for wild horses. and walks to the pool. <laughs> this was our puppy Duke's first time experiencing the ocean. Of course, he tried drinking the water and that gave him, you know, a little bit of uh, bowel issues the first day. And then after that, we tried much harder to keep him from drinking the ocean water and we were fine the rest of the week. So that's good. <laughs> He really loves digging and playing in the sand. He gets the zoomies and just like wants to run back and forth and play in the sand. He has so much fun. So we loved seeing how happy he was there at the beach. We also really enjoyed just watching the horses. They frequently would come up to the grassy area right next to our house so we could just watch them from the balcony of the house. That was really cool. One thing that was new that we did not experience the last time we were in the Outer Banks, which was like a decade ago, is they have all these 
wild horse watching jeep tours. You know, the jeeps were kind of loud coming through. That really was our only complaint. The week was pretty magical. The sunsets, the sunrises were so amazing. We only had one storm, which created some pretty magnificent clouds one night. <laughs> we love watching the wildlife, looking for seashells, and spending time together as a family. It was a great week, much needed time to disconnect a little bit, and now we're back on the road having an awesome travel adventure on the west coast so that we'll have more on our current trip coming up soon so make sure you guys subscribe if you're not already subscribed to our channel thanks for watching this video i hope you enjoyed one more thing i'd like to note real quickly is if you are planning your own trip to the outer banks you do have a space to fill up the air in your tires for free. It's basically just a little bit farther south and across the street from where you air down your tires. All right, that wraps up this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and happy travels.